So we have been fun having fun with um, new colors and all that. Uh, the Galactus theming it was. Can we theme other things? Are there possibilities to change the look of our system? Sure. So we have uh, the auto start where you can add things or dismiss things. You can run Spotify immediately or Dropbox or Insync or anything you want. Put it in here. And we can also check out themes. This is the blue one, meaning this is Power Arrow Blue. If you're wondering what this is, this is our Galactus project. So we just copy paste it and change the blue things into uh, pink things. That's it. But can you change more? So we have the team Lua to take a look at. So there are colors here. We change these colors to have channel. No, these colors changed. And at the bottom, you'll find the colors for this one. But um, let's have a look at RC Lua. What can we find in here as well? So at some point in time, you do need um, to start reading. I mean, reading like I say on i3, lead, read the config. Everything is in the config. It's the same applies here. Everything is in here unless you say just I am, I'm just going to use it. And that's OK for us as well. But it's in here. Whatever you want to find out, it's in here. It's going to be documented here. So here we changed our themes. I said we have a new theme, we have frolly theme. So if you don't if you don't enter the code, well you can't set it. Simple as that. So the super key, the mod 4 key, the alt key, the mod key is the control key. So this is the super one. That's the Windows key. If you know that one better. And we have browsers you can set, browser one, browser two, browser three. We have made variables. These are all variables. Up here in the theme Lua, they use the same idea. Put everything on the top, put the variables there, so you have that out of the way. And we have here the, no, that, the, that one, this one. You have here as well um, a bunch of variables, our own created variables. So if you want to change into a different terminal, you say, no, I'm not into termite. I hate termite. Well, you would just change it to the terminal you like. It's it's there, it's a variable, and everywhere where the word terminal comes, it will be replaced with your um, terminal you like. If you like uh, virtual machine or virtual box, well, it's in here already. You just change the words, and then another application will be started. If you change the media player, you say, look, I'm all about dead beef. Okay, put it in there. Mail client is the same, file manager, Nemo, Nautilus. Genie as editor, instead of Atom, it's all good for us. Just go and change it in here. So if you change it here, everything else is changed. And I wanted to show you this. We have changed in previous tutorial the colors of these elements. But there are some other things you can do. Why not say, I don't want to see this one. I want to see that one. How will that look? So we're going to test this out. Control save, super shift R, and this is number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. You like it, you hate it, but hey, here you have now a different kind of tag. It's still it's still an um, a tag name, but it's different, looks different, feels different. This is also quite nice. Why not use symbols like these? Yeah, you can, if you want to. Or just say, look for me, I want to have a, a little bit structure. I'm gonna put in the W's all the routers. Here I'm gonna edit, here the Gimscape, Inkscape, video, etc. You can add whatever you want, it's just text. You can make it a little bit smaller. Now it's big font, but you can make it smaller if you want. And I guess we can use this one as well. Save. I was looking for some nice fonts online. I said, let's look for the awesome font. Because the awesome font is just great to have on the awesome desktop, of course. So Control Alt V to start Vivaldi 
remember super s yes here are all the shortcuts so control alt v and this is what i do you can do it too you go online and say oh i would like to have this anchor sign it would be awesome okay so copy chuck gone in here and i'm gonna replace what, what i don't like this one don't like this one so oh, i'm gonna replace it with that one save reload here you have it now we have your own icon there and it just comes from the internet copy paste and of course we installed the font awesome on your system so you can just copy from the net into your system so how this looks is entirely up to you now if we scroll down we see here the elements of tiling the layouts so we can tile if you just wait a little bit tile and with super space you'll see the changes to the next one the next one is floating floating super space the next one is tile left and so on so it really goes uh, in a carousel or something like that it goes uh, in a circle and it you can change you can add more if you say hey i would like to see what this fair thing is that's the first thing i did say hey let's have a look what's this and what's that so you need to learn you need to find out hey what what does it all do and just put on uh, this is out and this is in and then rerun it and you can check it out okay so save super shift r and it's reloaded again now for some of these guys you need to have some some uh, windows open so something like that and see what happens if you have more than one window open because so if you only take one window probably you won't see anything so um, what else could I include in this video I think it's about that I want to conclude here and talk about the menu then later so we're a little bit digging into our code already so these are changed now and uh, we can change any of these guys up here they are available just well you saw what I did and then you have this new look all right cheers